begin with breaking news. A child found dead in a car at a North Knoxville grocery store today. That child found just after 3 o'clock at the Food City store on Clinton Highway. We sent WHE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Cropper to the scene minutes after the first calls came in. She joins us now with an update. So Kirsty, what do we know right now? Well, I can tell you, too, that the scene has been cleared. It's been cleared for uh, just a little bit of an hour now. I've only seen one Knoxville police car here in the parking lot, and the vehicle that the uh, child was found in, that vehicle has been towed away. Now, this is what we know so far. Police were called here to this food city parking lot around 3 p.m. this afternoon for reports of a child dead inside a car. When police got here, they did find a younger child dead inside the car. Police cannot confirm, though, if the parents were shopping inside Food City while the child was in the car. Uh, and earlier, we were, uh, you heard our meteorologist saying that it was very hot out Side, even saying that it felt like 97 degrees. I can tell you standing out here, it does feel very hot outside. So imagine a child being left in that car. Here's what the Knoxville police spokesperson said about the dangers of leaving younger children in cars. It's important to know how fast a car can heat up when it's closed and the windows are up. It heats up incredibly fast. Um, and really, animal or child are gonna, are gonna struggle in those environments and they can't be left in there for very long. So there's always a reminder to look before you lock your car and leave your vehicle. Check your back seat, set reminders for yourself to check your back seat and make sure your child's not back there. Now he also wanted to reiterate that they do not know yet if the parents were inside Food City shopping at the time with, uh, while the child was left in the car. They are still uh, investigating this incident and of course I like I said, the scene is clear, but I'll be trying to reach out to police throughout the night to get any updates that I can. For now, reporting live in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6, on your side. All right, Kirsty, such a tragic story to bring to everyone tonight. Heartbreaking. We'll stay yeah. on top of that, everyone. Right now, we do.